My history professor, who always criticizes me for being late, missed our scheduled review session. So you could tell just in how I read it, I had to put a pause here in order for it to make sense, in order for who always criticizes me for being late to describe my history professor. So ideally, I want to put a comma at the beginning and the end of this clause that is describing my history professor. I don't want to keep it the same. I want to put a comma at the beginning and at the end. So I like that choice. Now let's look at these other ones. My history professor, Dash, who always criticizes me for being late. You could separate this clause with a dash, but you would want to separate with a dash on either side. So if you put a dash here, you would want to put a dash right over there, which is kind of a, you could view it as a, a stronger parenthetical. My history professor, who always criticizes me for being late, missed our scheduled review session. I, I always view the dash as like, make sure you're seeing this thing. It's, you know, hey, I'm really going to make it clear. This is the person who always criticizes me for being late. So it would have been an option if, you put, if they had a dash on either end, but they don't. So we're going to rule this one out. And for the same reason, they only put a dash at the right side but not at the left side so i would rule this one out as well